If you don't know how to use Tmux, then you should know and it's only going to take 12 minutes of this video and 15 minutes of practice and you will get good with Tmux. So Tmux is a must learn program. It's a terminal multiplexer and uh, it's a pretty awesome thing. Once you get idea of Tmux and you start using it with Vim or anything, any kind of work, you're going to get hooked with this because it's pretty cool thing. Okay. So first make sure you have Tmux installed in your computer. In my computer, it's completely installed. Now, I just want to show you something. In my temp directory, I have nothing like tmux here, okay? There is no tmux here, but I'm going to open another terminal and type tmux and press enter. So make sure you have tmux installed. And now when I press enter here, you are going to see this tmux uh, thousand. So what is this? It's a directory by the way. So let's just go inside tmux thousand and here we got this default file. So what is this? Let's run, uh, you know, file command and see. So this is a socket file. So it means that uh, tmux have something like server kind of thing. Tmux work as a client server kind of architecture, but unlike other programs which use client server architecture, Tmux is pretty simple thing. Okay. So when you type Tmux on your terminal and run it, it's going to create a server. Now inside server, we have sessions. Okay. So we can have multiple sessions. So server is one, but session can be like n number of session. Now inside session, we get all these windows. Okay. So in not one window actually n number of windows and inside windows we get n number of panes so n number of panes all you have to understand is this idea first that when you run tmux it's going to create a server and inside server you get some sessions so right now i only have one session but you can make more sessions and inside those sessions we get number of windows and inside those windows we get number of panes so right now i'm inside tmux so let's just open another terminal and type tmux ls so it says uh, zero one window. So what does th this means? All right. So zero is our session. So right now in this terminal, we are in a session. Okay. And after this, it says one window. So in this session, we only have one window right now. And we also got this timestamp, which is telling that when this session was created. And we also get this attached, which means that we are right now attached to this session. So we, what we are here, we are the client. Okay. And what this is, this is Tmux server and we are just connected to this server. So let's just close this terminal and do something like neo fetch and you know something like that and what we can do now is we can press uh, a prefix key so what is prefix key in tmux when you need to run some command you have to type a prefix key let me turn on the screen key so you can see so by default this prefix key is control b and after this you have to run something so let's press d all right so in tmux when you want to do something first you press control B and then you give some command like D or any other command. I will talk about this later. So we got this detached here, which means that we detached from this session. So we had this session zero and we got detached from the session. So the client and the session is not connected now. Let's just again run tmux ls here. So it's outputting the same thing, but right now we are not getting any attached here because the client is not connected. But notice one thing guys here, our tmux session is still on. Okay. So the terminal where we were working is, is still alive. It is still there and we can just type tmux attach and it's going to, you know, just again connect us from that terminal. So now there is one command which is very cool. So press prefix key and then S. Okay. So when I say prefix key, I mean control B. So right now we are getting a list of session. Now we only have one session. So we are only getting one here. Let's just press enter and do something in this session so you can understand more what is happening. So the first thing I usually do is I rename the session. So suppose you open a session just for coding. Okay. So you want to do some coding. So what we are going to do is first we press prefix key and then the dollar symbol. So it's going to give us this prompt, which is saying rename this session. So I want to, you know, rename this session to learning and press enter. So now my session name is renamed and it is learning again prefix key s so right now you can see here instead of zero we are getting learning so let's do some more thing okay suppose i just want to make one more window so what i can do is first press prefix key and then c so it's going to create another window so now if you look down we get two windows so this is like zero and this is one 
So now here what I can do is I can go to code and I can do some coding. So I can, you know, open some file in Vim and I can do some coding here. And to compile this code or just do something else, I can do this in this tab, which is, you know, ZSH, which is on zero. So now let's just rename this uh, tab. So now what we have to do to rename this window here and don't get confused guys. So we renamed the session, but we can also rename the window. So to rename the window, what we can do is control B and then comma. So it's going to give us uh, a prompt, which is asking to rename window. And suppose I just want to type coding here. So, all right, I named my window coding. And now suppose if you also want to, you know, rename this window here to compile, because you are going to compile your code in that window. So what you can do is you can again, press prefix key and then zero because here here we got this uh, number zero so to get on a zero window you have to press zero and if you want to go again in the coding what you can do is again prefix k and one so this is how you navigate there is one more way to navigate uh, you can press prefix k and n to go to the next window all right so let's just rename this window now so again prefix k and then comma and then we can just you know type compiling okay so we got two window in one session and our tmux server so we got a tmux server and inside that tmux server we have this learning session and inside that learning session we got two windows zero and one so our zero window name is compiling and our first window name is coding so here i'm going to you know just uh, compile my code so so this is the typical workflow of many coders out there. Now let's just do some more things to understand more. So open another window. So to again, open the window prefix and see, and here I can do some more stuff. Like for example, for example, in this window, I just want to, you know, get some statistic, like what's happening in my computer. Or if you are in a server, then you just want to know some stuff. So suppose you just want to run H top here, but with H top, you also want some other things. So let's just open some panes. So there is two way to open any pane. One is horizontal pane and second is vertical pane. So let's just first open horizontal pane. So for horizontal pane, what you can do is again, prefix key, which is control V and then a percentage symbol. So this is going to, you know, open a horizontal pane. And if you want to open a vertical pane again, prefix key and this time quotation mark. So here I can, you know, run top and then I can press again, prefix key and up key to go up and prefix key left key to go left. So let's just, you know, run tree command here and then again, uh, prefix key and right. So to move around from panes to panes, we can press prefix key and then up down arrows, even though I try to avoid arrows, but here arrows is the default option. So let's just rename this window again, uh, prefix key and then comma to rename window. And we can just give this window name sys info because we are just going to see some info. So for example, if you are coding something and you just want to see uh, what memory uses uh, your program is taking. So you can just come to this window and, and see the top output or whatever you just want to do. So, so let's just quickly revise some things. So to move in the window again, prefix key N and it's going to, you know, move and uh, it's going to take us to the next window. And if you just want to go to some specific window, you can press prefix key and then the number. So the number is written here. I will suggest you to write down all the shortcuts which I am telling on a piece of paper and keep that paper close to you so when you use Tmux, you can quickly take a look. It's only going to take 30 minutes to get used to this key binding. So just, you know, do some coding and you will get used to. And now let's just look at some more things. So again, to detach from this session, we can do prefix key and then D and this is going to, you know, uh, detach us and we can run Tmux LS to see what we got here. So we got three windows in this learning session. And suppose if you just want to create a new session, how you're going to do this. So type Tmux and then new and then press tab. Now tab have a very important role in Tmux because you're not going to learn all the commands, but uh, when you press tab, you're going to see it and understand. And I believe that's enough for the new session. When I press enter, it's going to start a new session. So here you see one. So the older session had zero and here we are in the new session. Okay. And here we are in a new session. So let's just run prefix key and S and it's going to again give us a list. So here you can see the list now because we got more than one sessions. So this is our session number zero, 
which contain three windows and its name is learning and this is our session number two which contain only one window and its name is one and right now we are attached to this session here now let's just open this and type exit so what's going to happen here so what do you think did i just kill the session or the session is still running let's just again type a tmux ls by the way you can also type list sessions if you want so here list sessions and you can see we only have one session running which is learning so the thing is when you terminate the last window of any session it's going to close the session automatically so one window is must for any session so let's just create another new session quickly so you can see here i can use new session or i can also use new so let's just you know use new session and name this session so again prefix and then dollar symbol and let's just name this you know garbage because spoiler alert we are going to kill this soon and let's just open another window so to open another window again um prefix and c and we got like multiple windows here let's just run some commands so again uh let's just do something here and here like a tree and a stop okay so we got two session here one is garbage session and if i type prefix s you can see we got two session here one is garbage with four windows and we are attached to this session and one is learning session so suppose if i just want to detach again as uh, prefix and d and i'm detached from this garbage session and i want to kill this session so what i can do is i can press uh, t marks and then kill so it's going to give me some options so i either i can kill the pain i can kill the server so don't kill the server it's going to kill everything like every session is going to die and let's just kill the session or or we can also kill the window so let's just try to kill windows first okay so after kill window you can just press tab and you can see what options you get so we get some you know tar minus t for target and minus a to kill all windows so let's just uh, do minus t and here we are getting the list so you don't have to learn anything all you have to do is type uh, tab and it's just going to show you now i'm using zsh i don't know you can scroll through this, this or not let's just kill this edge top window okay so this is what you have to type to just you know kill the window so there are two ways to do anything either you can kill something while inside emacs or you can you know run a external command like this to kill something so let's just kill this and again tmux attach so when you type tmux attach it's just going to you know again attach you from the session you detached to all right so whatever the last session you were in and uh, you can also specify like which session you want to at get attached to so i want to get attached to garbage but you don't have to type everything you can just do attach and you're going to get into the uh, session where you you know exited last time so I think I forget to tell you how to kill a window. So if you just want to kill, what you can do is uh, prefix and then end. So it's going to ask, uh, do you want to kill this window? And you can just type yes and or why. And it's going to just, you know, kill the window. And if you are in a pain, so to um, by pain, I mean P-A-N-E. So what you can do is uh, like, for example, there is this pain and uh, you just want to kill this pain. So what you are going to do is you can again prefix and X and it's going to ask, do you want to kill this pain? And this is going to kill this pain now there's one more very important thing which is uh prefix and then colon so this is like vim uh, you get this uh, you know what should i say prompt okay and you can type any command here so this is like uh, for example you were typing command from uh, terminal but you can also command from here so if you just want to kill this session so kill and then session and when you press enter it's just going to kill the session so here your session is killed so let's just do tmux ls and you can see there is no garbage session so you can either run commands from here or you can run commands from again uh, prefix colon here okay so you can also kill window from here and it's going to kill the window now one very important thing and the thing is that you might want to do some configuration in your tmux because by default the prefix key is control b but control b is not something which is very you know convenient to type so what you can do is you can make this file 
tmux.conf file in your home directory so i think i should do this here okay so this is going to create the, your tmux.configuration file so the first thing you have to type unwind control b so this means control and when i press enter so this is just going to unwind your current prefix key and then you can type this uh, set minus g prefix here you can make any prefix whatever you want so i will say you two prefix you can either use a uh, control space so control space is very convenient it's more faster than pressing control b or you can use this symbol here so uh, i see some people who also use this so it's your choice i i will say just use control space and after this you can just save this file and when you run tmux again it's not going to work first you have to type tmux source and then dot tmux.conf enter and after this uh, your current prefix key is uh, control space so let's just open screen key again so control space and then uh, what c so to open new window so here i got two window control space s so i got two sessions here so one session contain three window and another session contain two window and i can just you know rename control space and a comma to rename the window so it's like compiling and again control space dollar symbol to rename the session so uh, tutorial okay so that's how you can do some things in tmux and there are a lot of good things about tmux suppose if you just connect uh, with ssh to some server like root let me connect to my so right now i'm connected to my you know debian server here so when i close this so prefix d to detach from the session now my connection is still established when you attach to tmux again it's going to again you know um, open that uh, same thing so this is really good and you can't do all this with your terminal by default and if you are a programmer this is really really going to improve your speed and quality and before leaving i just want to tell you one more thing that i have this configuration of george hart so let me just show you so let's just delete this tmux.conf and copy my real tmux.conf here so this is the configuration so i use this and it is going to use the same thing but i also got some status position status background so what this is going to do is when i you know close this and open tmux again oh wait i forget to tmux source tmux conf okay so again open the tmux and just attach to some session so uh, target specify session learning session okay so here you can see my mod line is uh you know looking very good and clean and one last thing i also want to tell you suppose if you are working in pain so i mean a pa any pain so what you can do is let's just open some pain so prefix and then this percentage symbol and uh, suppose if you have something running in this pane what you can do is you can press prefix and then this angle bracket uh, let's open screen key so prefix and then this uh, you know angle bracket so this is going to you know switch so you can also do that and one last thing i want to tell you uh you can also use mouse to switch from this to this okay so to do this what you can do is you can uh, run this command so prefix and then on this colon and you can do uh, set minus g mouse on okay so after this you can use mouse to go from here and there so hope you like this tutorial you understand some things all you have to understand is uh, two things first uh, you have a server tmux server inside that you got some sessions and you can have n number of sessions inside those n number of session you can have n number of windows and inside that n number of windows you get n number of pain and since this is a client server you can get attach and deattach to any session anytime your work is safe your windows are open even when you close your tmux just make sure to do not delete this uh, tmp file so i got this tmux uh, thousand directory and here i got this default file so don't delete this file because suppose if I'm detached from some session and I got some file here and if I deleted this file and if I try to attach from the session again, so it's going to say no session. So this file is very important and this is where your work will, you know, survive. So you can just start using tmux with time you are going to learn some more stuff you can learn about more commands very quickly always remember to use tabs so tabs is going to you know teach you a lot and you might also want to learn how to do copy pasting stuff but i do this by just by my terminal okay that's it for this video thanks for watching my video
Tes résolves font qu'il 